strong lips. for me, you know. Maybe this shouldn't happen. You know, maybe it doesn't happen all the time. It doesn't mean it isn't right, right? Pretty in Pink. All right, so Pretty in Pink is a 1980s uh, film uh, produced by the great John Hughes, who is, you know, the master of coming of age film. And the story of this movie is starring Jolly, Molly Ringwald. And Molly Ringwald in this movie, it's, it's a, it is a Typical John Hughes kind of age film, and that might sound as a negative, but it's a positive. And I really did enjoy this. I like how this movie is completely focusing on her point of view. It kind of reminds me of a little bit of Sixteen Candles, but I think this movie is a little better. I think the I like I buy the relationship between Molly Ringwald's character and her love interest more than I do in Sixteen Candles. And you kind of feel there is a connection there. In Sixteen Candles, I've always, when I watched the Sixteen Candles like a year or two ago, I was like, I just don't buy the romance. And that's one of my things, issues with that movie. Pretty Pink, I think the, I buy the romance. And I love the character Ducky, who's, you know, he was two and a half man. I think he's Lex Luthor right now. I, I enjoy that little character they try to do with him. So guys, overall, Pretty Pink is a, is a good little John Hughes produced film. You definitely feel the John Hughes vibes in there. And Molly Ringwald was just was a great actress in the 80s during this uh, John Hughes era. So guys, I'm going to give Pretty and Pink, I'm going to give it an A minus. So guys, have you seen Pretty and Pink or Warrior Dots below? Let me know. Guys, if you like this video, click that thumbs up button. Subscribe to see more. Tell your friends about Easy Nation. All too easy.